we want to get a better sense of what the priority should be, where we should be putting our energy. Uh, the Secretariat is, uh, is still new, so we want to really make sure that we have an opportunity to give the community something it needs. The CAQ is embarking on a consultation tour with English-speaking communities across the province on Wednesday, two years after the Secretariat for Relations with English-speaking Quebecers was created by the previous Liberal government. The CAQ's point man for Anglo relations says it's time now to build bridges I'm going there basically on a listening tour to get a, a sort of a lay of the land and the idea is to take all the feedback that we get from these communities and articulate an action plan. Over a hundred community groups are expected to take part in eight regions over the next two months, all hoping to raise issues that are important to them as well as voice concerns they have as English-speaking Quebecers. There are some issues Christopher the Skeet, the parliamentary so assistant to the Premier for Relations with English-speaking Quebecers, says he already anticipates hearing about. Unemployment's an issue. We know that access to French is an issue. We know also the access to health care, especially for our elderly populations, is an issue. But on the island of Montreal, one of the points of contention is English language school boards controlled and elected by the Anglophone community. Come the fall, the CAQ is expected to table legislation to abolish school boards and turn them into government-run service centers. Skeet now saying the English community shouldn't be too concerned by it. No one here is questioning the right of the English community to access English education and no one here is questioning English control of the institution. So I think people should be, uh, you know, open-minded about the changes that we're proposing. No one here is going to take anything away from the English community. Despite his reassurances, there has been criticism by members of the Anglo community. Since last fall when the CAQ was elected, many have felt the government isn't hearing out English-speaking Quebecers. To say that we're not listening is, is a bit of a shortcut. Uh, at the same token, I think we want to be judged by our actions, and our actions are we have a tour coming up. We have an action plan that we want to draft, and at the same token, we doubled the budget recently. The action plan from the consultation tour is expected to be put forward in January 2020. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.